All right guys, so the radiator has been replaced already. As you can see, it's a new radiator. So this is part two, continuation of part one. In this part two video, I'm gonna show you guys you know, how to bleed the system on a cooling system by using a spill-free spill -free funnel, part number 77-4000. It's a Napa service tools. You know, um, there's plenty of brands out there, OEM, Lyles, but I got this one from, from Napa and it comes with a with little kit, you know, with different adapters. I think it goes from, uh, from adapters A through D. So on this one, I'll be using adapter C. As you can see, there's a, a letter, letter C. And then this one's also letter C. You know, I'm not sure the camera's picking it up. But pretty much this adapter matches, you know, the uh, radiator cap for this vehicle. So I'll be installing this right this. Snap it in, twist it. And then, you know, like I said, I'll be using a funnel. And I'll be adding the cooling here. You know nice and slow so that'll be the next step all right guys all right guys, so for this honda civic you know i'll be using the coolant 5050 brand cerex as for asian vehicle formula which is the blue coolant like you said right there like as, as you can see you know this is recommended for honda hyundai nissan and subaru and others so here we go guys so I'll be adding coolant into the system slowly. So I'm gonna fill it up guys so, and then you know once I I'm done with this I'm gonna show you guys you know how to do the system. Alright guys so uh, so once you add uh, coolant to your to your cooling system you know I I always like to fill the, the coolant up to that point where you see it right now on the funnel and then the next step I like to do is to actually squeeze the upper radiator hose by squeezing the radiator hose you know that actually helps to remove um, any uh, air trapped in, any air trapped in the system so I'm going to squeeze uh, the upper radiator hose and let's wash our, our coolant. So as you squeeze the coolant, that creates some, some um, air bubbles. And that allows coolant to actually drop down into the system. I like to do this maybe a good you know um, two to three minutes of just uh you know squeezing the the upper radiator hose with the vehicle off and then i like to add you know about you know a little bit more coolant so i'm gonna add you know a little bit more coolant and once i add coolant again then the next step is to actually turn the vehicle on and put your uh, heater, your heater uh, settings all the way hot, but but the um, but with air conditioning off, and that's gonna allow the system to actually circulate through the heater core, and also help the system to actually remove um, any uh, air bubbles in uh, in the system. So I'm gonna squeeze the, the upper radiator hose again until I see no more air bubbles or as soon as the coolant stops going down. And then that's basically pretty much the, the time to you know turn the vehicle on and let the coolant circulate through the system. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle on. Alright guys, so I'm here inside the vehicle. 
I've already put the settings all the way to hot. I put the uh, defroster for the windshield. And the next step, remember, it, well, pretty much, you know, it's up to you, you know, if you want to turn the, the, the system on. But, you know, I usually leave it off. But I always make sure to put this always on hot and on the defroster for the windshield. So the next thing is to, you know, turn the vehicle on. And let's watch our funnel. So as the engine gets uh, warmer, the, uh, this coolant should should keep uh, should drop down like as as you saw right now. You saw you know you saw some air bubbles, which made the coolant go back down. So I'm gonna pour some more coolant. I would like to keep it above the funnel, about, about two inches of extra coolant. And that's gonna allow me to see as we V the system, it's gonna create air bubbles. Pretty much it's, it's uh, the system is getting burp. So at the same time as the vehicle is on, you know, I like to go ahead and squeeze the upper radiator hose to help the system out. By burping the system, as you can see, the cooling went back down. That's that's the process of uh, bleeding the system. I'll keep adding more. So as the vehicle gets warmer. The vehicle is going to get bled off through this funnel. I like to squeeze uh, the upper radiator hose again. So this process is going to take about maybe anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. But I like to do this and actually wait until the, uh, until the radiator fans kick in. That's pretty much uh, tells me that the uh, that the thermostat has fully opened and the coolant is actually circulating through the whole system pretty much to 100% anywhere from 90 to 100% which is going to allow the coolant to travel from the radiator to the engine through the heater core and back to the radiator so once the, so once the radiator kicks in this coolant should actually drop further down which is gonna actually help which actually tells us that the air system is actually getting bled off so I'm gonna do this guys until the radiators kick in and then I'll show you guys how the coolant will actually go lower so alright guys all right guys, so as you wait for the radiators to kick in, this is what actually happens. You see the, the air bubbles coming out of the, the funnel. So that's telling you that the, uh, that the system is getting bled off little by little. All right guys, so the fans finally kicked in for a, for a moment. As you can see, they were spinning. That, that's pretty much the indication that the thermostat has opened up anywhere from 85 to 100%. And I usually let this process occur between two to three times by letting the fans kick in. And then finally, the last step I like to do is to go into the vehicle and turn the heater on and make sure that there's actually hot air coming out of the vents and that's a good indication that the uh, that the system is getting is getting bl uh, bled off you know by actually having hot, hot air coming out of the vents and if you have actually cold air 
or just warm air coming out of the vents, that means that you still have air trapped into the system and you still have to uh, keep bleeding the system until you have hot air coming out of, you know, um, hot air coming out, you know, out of the vents. So, so, you know, so as you saw, you know, um, that was the first time that the, uh, that the radio fans kicked in. I'll let it, um, I'll let this process go through, like I said, uh, two to three times by letting the fans kick in. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just show you guys the, um, the air conditioner on. I will turn it on and then make sure, and also at, at, at the same time, make sure to look at the, uh, at the cooling gauge. And make sure that, that your vehicle is not overheating. As you can see, our, our coolant range is within specs. So right now, you know, I'm gonna turn the vehicle, the AC on, but in hot, you know, climate control. Make sure to check the, you know, the temperature with your hand. Make sure that there's uh, hot air coming out, not and, and not cold air or warm air. If you feel cold or warm air with your settings all the way too hot, that still sh is telling you that your, your system still has uh, air trapped in, in the system. So this, this vehicle feels hot, which is good indication that our system is uh, being bled off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Put the settings back to normal. All right, so this is Eli, the OBD tech. Hopefully this video helps you out with, um, you know, bleeding your, your cooling system after a radiator or, or thermostat or, or any hose replacement. And, and one last thing also is to make sure to check both your upper and your lower hoses uh, of your radiator. Make sure that both of them are actually hot. If the if one shows cold and the and, and the other one hot, it means that there's possibly a potential thermostat problem, which is either the pretty much the thermostat is not uh, opening all the way, which is not allowing coolant to actually circulate through the whole system. So, all right guys, so, you know, hopefully you like this video. Subscribe if you like.